This time of year offers a great opportunity for the photographer, especially with the short days and the long nights. You have a completely different perspective and all of those things that you often see in the daytime are completely different at night with the darks and the lights. And it's especially true towards the end of the year where many, if not all, towns and cities up and down the country have got Christmas lights and Christmas decorations out that make amazing photos. And the lights that just shine bright all over towns are just fantastic. And you can go out with your camera and get some really stunning shots. What I plan to do tonight is go out with the Olympus EPL5 and try to take some shots of all the Christmas decorations around Lincoln. I'm downhill Lincoln right now, so I'm going to take a few shots here and I'm going to make my way uphill and see what's up there. Hopefully I can get some really nice shots and show you some of those shots as I'm taking them. Unfortunately for me, I found however much I plan these things and check, uh, I haven't got any battery life in my EPL5. I did check the battery, sadly there's none in it, which is a shame. So I'm going to have to use my Olympus OMD EMR Mark II and go around this little park and go and do some other shots around Lincoln to try to take some pictures. So night photography and especially photography of Christmas decorations on the face of it is really, really easy because all you have to do is set your shutter speed to a long, long shutter and click and go and then that should take care of everything else. But it's not quite that simple because of course you've got to be aware of the contrast between the lightest parts in your image and the darkest parts and you've got to get that balance right you can easily overexpose but you can just as easily underexpose so you've really got to get that exposure right and what i plan to do in this video is show you a few of the shots i'm taking take you through the compositions and, and what i'm looking for when i'm taking my shots and, and you know just give you an idea of how i'm doing it and the settings i'm using and hopefully you can enjoy following along with me taking these shots of these Christmas decorations in the centre of Lincoln. For my first shot, I really like the idea of having all this light around the top of the frame and, and this sort of tree in the middle with the star at the top. I think that's going to look really good. Sadly for this shot, just to, the, just to this side, to the, to the sort of right as we look at it of this tree, there's an Asian supermarket, which as great as it is, uh, I think it's not going to sort of add any value to my image. So what I might have to do is take that out in post-production and, and go from there. So what I will do, I'll take a landscape shot as, I'm, as we're looking at it now and I'll switch the camera over and try to take a portrait shot because I think sort of a, a vertical shot with the uh, lights overhead, I think that will look, these lights here, that'll look so much better. Dot have gone for f11 and it's about a 10 second exposure iso 200 these lights are running down this tree look great and if i can keep the shutter open long enough i'll get the whole length of these lights and they look like light sticks from the tree i'm going to go for a f8 uh, aperture and about eight seconds with base ISO, which is 200. This is cool, this Merry Christmas sign. I've not seen it before, but I quite like it. I'm not sure if it's going to make a nice photo, but I'm going to take it anyway and see how I get on. This is cool, I love this view. I love looking down this street at that star at the end and all the lights on the buildings. I think it's gonna be great. I'm gonna have a crack at this shot and see what I can do. This is that classic shot of the Lincoln's Corn Hill. It's got stars in it, has had these stars for a couple of years now. Whereas before it had, it had the word joy, which has now gone to another part of Lincoln. Obviously I've got to take this photo, it's a must. So I'm gonna take this photo now and I'll explain to you what the settings are that I'm using. For this image, I'm going for a 10 second exposure, which gives me F16 at base ISO. I'm going for a long exposure and I'm going for a, 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 a very short aperture because I want to get some stars in the image. And if anybody walks past, the long exposure will cut them out and we won't see them, they won't be part of the image. For this image I'm going for a 4 second exposure F8 ISO 200, 
I'm focusing right on the reindeer. It's going to be fine. This, and I'm not going for a too uh, narrow uh, aperture. But there is, there are cars and people walking past all the time, which is a bit annoying. But let's um, take this shot and let's see how we do. I'm really impressed with the Christmas lights of Lincoln this year, and we've got an arch over Exchequer looking towards the tree. And as you can see, it's attracting lots of attention. Lots of people are coming here to take a picture of the tree. It's amazing. And I'm going to have a go with my camera as well in a minute. To get the exposure right, because I'm in this real light area, I'm going to take an overexposed shot, and then I'm going to take a correct exposed shot, and I'm going to see uh, blend those together. So I think it's going to come out uh, a bit, uh, a bit uh, dark. So I'm going to just do an ex a correct exposure for a second this time. And then I'm going to blend those two images together. I'm going to try and keep the roof of this archway in and try to make this a nice shot. So that's that one. So I might just change the angle a little bit so I can get a little bit more, a little bit more of the, uh, uh, of, of the roof of this shot in. I'm going to do these two shots again and uh, uh, I'll just focus on the tree. And I'm going to take two shots again, one with the archway and then in lights and then one a bit much brighter so I can get the, the, the tree in, in the, the right brightness. So that one's overexposed so I can get the tree exposed correctly and the other one was underexposed so that I can all correctly expose so that the lights in this archway are showing. Just a horizontal shot of this Lincoln sign. It's nice and big in the picture. These two lines here on either side are drawing your eyes towards the image. I've gone F4. I'm not bothered about having too uh, narrow an aperture. Nice wide aperture is good. One and a half seconds. Uh, this is going to be spot on. I think it's going to be all right. It is a bit orange, so I'm going with a auto white balance. So I'd probably just bring the white balance down or, or make it a little bit bluer in post just to um, take some of the orange out. But I think it looks good. Um, I think it's going to be all right. So here goes. Two second timer. Let's take this shot. It's only going to be one and a half seconds. Done. Done and dust it. A nice easy one. I'm just going for a slightly different angle. F4 again. This is um, 1.3 second. This isn't going to be a very long at all. It's going to be a nice easy shot. There's baubles at the top of the image as well. Come back. There's baubles at the top of the image. which Give it a bit more interest. So two second timer again, uh, really nice, easy shot. I think this is going to look fine as well. I can add them both together uh, and, and do them as a carousel in Instagram w would be great. All's not lost on the video front because I have got my phone that I can use for videoing. And even though it's not quite as good, it still works. It's still fine. Um, thank you very much indeed for watching this video. I hope it's been interesting hope you've sort of seen how I take night shots and come to the realisation that you could take these just as well, if not better than me. If you have enjoyed this video, I'd really, really please if you give it a like. And if you like this kind of content, why not subscribe to the channel? It'd be fantastic. Once again, thank you very much indeed for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.